a member of parliament for North West Durham and supporter of uh, Rishi Sunak. Morning, Richard. Good morning, guys. Uh, first of all, what, what have you heard about it? Has the PM been ignoring Rishi Sunak's calls? He must have left a lot of voicemails. Uh, I, I, I'm afraid this is a bit of a new story to me. Uh, not one of the ones I've been concentrating on while I've been up here in North West Durham. I'm just getting out and about speaking to my constituents and, and actually banging the drum over the last few days for Rishi as well. And he's gone down really well with uh, the membership at the Darlington Hustings and in those members events that he's been doing uh, locally. I think a lot of people might think you're maybe kidding yourself now because Liz Truss does seem to be so well ahead. People are, are talking almost as though you know, it's going to happen. It's going to be her. Um, maybe the two candidates should get together and hammer something out realistic between them so that we could end this circus now, because it's just ta tearing the Tory party apart, isn't it? Well, I think both Rishi and Liz have slightly different views of uh, where we need to take the country, particularly in terms of uh, those in, uh, trying to deal with inflation and keep interest rates down as much as possible. Um, they've got different visions on that. And I think the membership uh, need to see them out and about across the country as much as possible and to speak to them. And uh, one of the interesting things I've seen over the last few weeks is just how much uh, Rishi has been out there meeting members, doing six, seven, eight events a day sometimes to meet as many of the members as practically possible. And I, I wouldn't, I think it's very difficult to poll uh, the Conservative membership. It's a bit of a self-selecting uh, audience for these uh, online polls. And uh, I think we just need to wait and see what happens uh, at the result of this contest in a couple of weeks' time. Obviously, the two do have their differences, right? But they are still members of the same party. They've worked in government together and they both say that they put the national interest first. Now, with millions of people already hard up and facing an absolutely catastrophic winter when it comes to bills, why can't they put their differences aside and, and at least meet and agree some rough plan to say that, look, whichever of us does become prime minister, this is what we're going to do and give that assurance that those people need? Because so many people out there are frightened and scared. Well, I think Rishi has already got that package of measures that he put in with, when he was chancellor. So you'll see um, some of the people who are in the most vulnerable situation uh, getting the final part of that £650 payment coming through in September. You'll see that £400 for every household on the energy bills coming through well, Richard, in October. But Richard, we need more. You'll see... Uh, yes, I agree. I agree. And Rishi has outlined that he wants to see VAT off energy bills uh, and he wants to see more support, particularly for the most vulnerable. Uh, Liz has taken a different tack. Um, that's fair enough. And that's the battle of ideas that's happening between the two at the moment. Um, so I think if uh, you know, Rishi's outlined some of his thoughts, uh, getting VAT off energy bills and then um, also providing more direct support to those most in need. Uh, and I think that's pretty clear. Um, I think it's Sort of a bit up to Liz as to what she wants to come forwards with on that package uh, now. But tax cuts alone, particularly for the uh, for vulnerable pensioners and for the lower paid people in work, uh, won't be enough uh, at this stage.